and if you enjoy these videos, click on the subscribe button and, and, we'll, and you'll get to uh, see the analysis of a different building, uh, usually in expense ratios, just what's going on in the market. Um, so this month, what we've done is selected a, a smaller building than last month. This was a central location. And <clears throat> before I get into the numbers, this property had been on the market for 100 26 days 126 and the original list price on it was 1.6 million and it was conditionally sold twice and then as the saying goes third time's a charm and it, it finally eventually stuck and it sold so again the original list price 1.6 million over those 126 days they decreased it down to 1 million four hundred eighty eight thousand dollars the property then sold for one million two hundred eighty thousand and that's 1280. Now, it appeared to have uh, four legal units. It was fire retrofit. Uh, it had a scheduled rental income of 93500 and the effective rental income was almost $91,000. So the reported expenses were about $19,000. Then when we factor in management and maintenance, um, that brings our total operating expenses up to $28,000, which gives us an NOI of uh, closing in on $63,000 and a very, very high cap rate of 4.9. So the operating expenses, they're only 31%. That's kind of unusual um, that they're that low. Now this property sold for a multiple of 14 times gross, 20 times the net. And uh, if you go by the theory that a 35% down payment should return a positive cash flow, then um, we, we have monthly mortgage payments of about $4,000 on, on the property. And the annual debt service is about $47,000. So what that does is gives us a positive cash flow of over $15,000, which you would uh, anticipate because the cap rate was so high at almost 5%, right? And it has an incredibly strong ROI of 3.1%. So that's a wrap. And again, if you enjoy these, uh, click on our subscribe button. We'll send them.